Well, it's a little tough because police are not releasing a suspect description, but they are working on a sketch. You can see these cameras. Well, they weren't here last week when the attack happened. The owner of Amigo Animal Clinic says her vet tech walked out this back door over to her car parked over there, and that's where the suspect was hiding and attacked her from behind. It's a horrible thing. Your whole sense of safety is completely gone. Terrified of another attack, Amigo Animal Clinic owner Teresa Steen installed razor wire and security cameras in the back parking lot. It's heartbreaking, but by the same token, good always prevails. And we have so many people that are showing support that are out there looking for this guy to ensure this doesn't happen again. Last Thursday evening after the clinic closed, a man waited in the parking lot for one of her employees to come out the back door then choked her unconscious. The owner believes he raped her out of revenge. She did recognize his voice and then knew it was him. Earlier in the afternoon, the woman called police after seeing the suspect masturbate in the clinic's parking lot while watching kids play. He appeared homeless. This area over here is where the man was standing. Whenever she came out the back door to this side, verbally confronted him. They exchanged words and he jumped over this fence and ran down the alleyway. It's just a very unfortunate scenario. Joe Clute owns the daycare next door. The kids and the teachers couldn't see what was going on. She says the staff is on high alert to not allow to walk to their cars alone. They're all anxious for police to put the suspect in handcuffs. It's a disturbing thing that happened. It's scary, 